I mean, I like these, but like, you, you were like, that's so cool. Yeah, that's dope. It looks like a movie to me. Yeah, it does. Which is what I'm trying to do. Me too. It's, it's badass, right? Yeah, that's sick. So it's about finding the space and the light and the angle. And that's, I was struggling over there, but like, I just knew we had to keep trying, you know? We're gonna do a little interview. Okay. Tell me your name and something unusual about yourself. My name is Katie and I cry a lot. What makes you cry, Katie? Um, everything. <laughs> the beauty and the sadness of the world. Yeah, there's a lot of both. I like to be in the wild places. I like the chaos, the elements, the uncertainty. Maybe it will rain. Maybe the wind will howl. Maybe things will go off course somehow. I like that. I like that possibility. This is not that kind of place, except that maybe it is. Hi, I'm Ben. I try, Katie. Hi, Katie. So good to meet you. Good to meet you, girl. I wanted to photograph Katie for a while, and she was keen as well. Our schedules just never lined up until, finally, they did. The glamour of it? Yeah, but now I'm like, what the fuck am I even doing with my life? Yeah, Katie, what the fuck are you doing? So, but I know there is high fashion in photography in LA. I don't know. What do you like to shoot? Well, I'm a filmmaker by trade. So I make TV. <laughs> I'm a filmmaker who makes TV. And I make documentaries and shit, so. All my work is like the Discovery Channel or like Nat Geo and shit like that. Um, what does adventure mean to you? Getting out of your comfort zone and kind of turning back into a kid again, I guess. And being silly, adventurous, I guess. Okay. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I've never shot here before. So can you just roll with it? Yeah. Well, the light doesn't suck. I just have to find it here. Let me just... <laughs> try, try against this. Let's see what it looks like with the reflection. Let's see if I can not see myself. Can you um? Can you lean like yeah? Get really close, and then and then look at me. Yeah. And right away, I find myself struggling. I chose this place with this person, and it's an amazing location, amazing light, with an amazing, talented, professional subject. But I'm struggling. Doubt creeps in. You want to see a couple? Yeah. I don't know what we're doing yet. That's dope. We're gonna do more of that. That will be cool. Why is play important? Because I feel like you're your realest self when you are the reaching in for your innocence, like being a child. And if you're not playing around, then you're just all serious all the time and that sucks. I guess. That's awesome, no, I love it. I just wanted to do something different here, you know? Nothing feels right to me. The rhythm is off. I feel like I'm missing shots as Katie moves. I'm not in sync, I'm behind. You move so fast, I have to be on my toes with you. <laughs> That's cool. It's neat, right? So I'm just yeah. trying to find shapes, trying to find symmetry. I expected this to be easy, and I don't really like anything I'm seeing in my viewfinder. None of this has anything to do with Katie. She's as skilled as I expected. The issue is me. I try and act confident and press on.
own calendar. That's not what I expected. I like it. What inspires you? People that stay true to who they are and don't like sell out and kind of like fall into trends just because it's a trend. That's the most thing that inspires me, I would say, is like looking up to artists who stay true to who they are and not sell out. Katie's like a wild creature herself. She's a professional model and an actress, and she knows how to pose, how to move, and she's completely comfortable in front of the camera. Just um, get like kind of a super wide stance right in there, and I'm just gonna kind of, yeah. But I just feel slightly behind the beat, slightly off angle, off mark, off target. I just feel off. Hey, I'm just gonna crouch, but is that too much? No, that's cool, go wide. Just go wide, and you're kind of looking this way like, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, Katie. This is this is so cool, though. Your game. I don't know. It's, we're off script here. If this doesn't work, I got a I've got a brilliant idea coming. So you just gotta hold on. Let me get through the crappy ideas. Now just lean back against the wall, kind of. We're gonna, uh, come with me, I'm coming down to you. We're moving. I like the wild places and the chaos and the weather and the uncertainty. Here in the city, surrounded by steel and concrete, I feel no connection to any of that. I feel only doubt and fear that I'm failing and a growing certainty that I'm delusional and have no talent here, no ability, no skill with a camera. What advice would you give to people who want to be creative, but they feel like they don't have permission or they feel stuck? Yeah, that was that, my life. Yeah, so what, what do you do about that? Because it takes bravery. Well, what advice would you give someone else who's like, ah, I just I can't, I'm not good enough. I, ah, no one's gonna like me. I can't be creative. I'm not an artist. What, what advice do you give those people? Um, I think everyone's path is like very different. I mean, I used to, changing closets and not go to gym class and hate my body. And I never really um, believed in myself at all. But I just think that surrounding yourself with the right people and the right community is really all that you need because I was able to get out of my town and like I was holding on to some hope that I knew I was meant for. And I think if you wanna be creative and you know you have it in you, you just have to hold on to that hope like no matter what comes your way and how, no matter like how much you even hate yourself, you still just hold on to it because it's going to pay off eventually. Just got a couple more things and then we're done, okay? Back in a corner, we find a patch of light shining through some trees on a little terrace. Now look, looking up more, find that light. There we go. Katie, you're gonna love this. I guarantee you will. Okay, put your arm back in the jacket. I begin to feel something, to see possibility. I begin to feel more in sync with Katie's movements. Tell me about um, trusting your instincts. Because I think your instincts, if you're an artist or really anybody, but I think your instincts are cannot everything. be undervalued. They're everything, right? Your, your gut feelings. Talk about that, trusting your, your gut. Um, I kind of feel like I trust mine more and more as I go 
uh, more and more as I grow up or like go through things because everything ends up being full circle a lot of times like I never thought I would be in this situation or that situation but I feel if I feel like something's meant for me then I trust it and then you know there's either some universal sign or a person or a thing or a, something that comes in the way comes on to you in the way to make you feel like okay I'm gonna keep trusting this because this sign wouldn't have come right in front of me kind of thing I guess yeah. Perfect. Okay, go this way a little bit. There's that hot spot right there. That's what I need. Yeah, right there. Perfect. This way, just perfect. I love these. This is the shit. Great. Awesome. Keep doing that. I don't look at the photos for several days after the shoot. I like the last shots we took the best, but I also like the early shots a lot more than what I was feeling in the moment. I'm not really sure why I was feeling what I was. I don't know. What I do know is that if there's a lesson here, it's that you've got to keep pressing on. You've got to keep pounding that drum until you fall in time with the rhythm. You've got to keep searching until you find the best light. One thing's for certain. I hope Katie and I get to make some more photos again sometime. Crushed it. I'm just gonna quit because uh, there's too many that are awesome. You wanna see these? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, seriously. We're, I'm like, I'm, I'm done. I can't stand it. I like it too much. I mean, it's hard to see in here. No, that's sick. Let me just hang on. Wow, that's amazing. But see, we just had to that's find amazing. it, Katie. We just, I just had to find the angles. That's amazing. I was struggling over there, but like, I just knew we had to keep trying, you know? You fucking rock. Stop. We're gonna do a little interview. Okay. Why is art important, Katie? Because we don't have any other way to express ourselves. I like that answer. <laughs>